If you're looking to grow your email list, you may want to create a unique pop-up just like this. Something that's animated, has a cool 3D avatar and really grabs people's attention. It's actually a pop-up form by Visme and it will dramatically increase your signups. I'm gonna run through how you can use Visme forms to set one of these up and put them up on your website so you don't have to worry about having any sort of boring or plain pop-ups on there ever again. But before we go ahead, I just wanna let you know that Visme are sponsoring this video, but they've actually shared some case study information with me and using these pop-ups, in most cases, are able to double the conversion rate and signups so you can grow your email Email list twice as fast. But let's get straight into it. Now I'm logged into Visme here and there's a whole bunch of uh, different features you can have. For example, you can start a new project and there are infographics, all these different things, uh, whiteboard and forms. But I also have open, if I scroll across, I've got a WordPress website, which I basically no longer use. So I'm gonna add a lead magnet form onto this website. And this is the MailChimp account associated with it, which is basically I use as a test account for you know, doing videos like this. So again, to get started, all I wanna do is come up to create new and go to form slash survey. Now you get a few different options. There's custom event registration where we can do a contact form, which can be really handy. If you have issues with contact form deliverability, you can always try and use Visme's contact form instead. However, we're gonna stick with a lead magnet. But before I do that, I wanna show you quickly. If I go to newsletter sign up, you do get some pretty nifty uh, sort of examples. So if I go to preview here, you can see the kind of thing we're looking at here. Or if I go back to say this one here, you can see the person walks out, pop-up appears, and then they drag the pop-up across. And it, this is actually an interactive preview. And you can actually see that while it works here on desktop, if I go to mobile, it's actually responsive as well. And the animation changes. So you've got a whole bunch of, it's actually the fact that it's responsive, but you've got a whole bunch of templates here you can choose from as well. Now we're gonna get started with our lead magnet form here. And once again, we, all we have to do is pick what we think is gonna look best. I am actually gonna stick with this second one here. I'm gonna preview. I like the old moonwalk style the way that things are dragged across. So I'm gonna use this template for our lead magnet. Now you can see here, before we go ahead with this, we've got create, which is where we create our form, connect to our email list, publish, so we can publish the form and then data so we can see how the form performs. So I can scroll down here and see there's a bunch of different existing styles I can use. Something like this probably gonna look best to start with. And also I wanna look at the person. If I can customize this person, first of all, we have the animation and we have the character. I'm gonna go for a casual character. Someone wearing a hoodie. I think that looks like a good starting point. And we can click edit, edit character. And there's a whole bunch of characteristics here. We can make them female, male, body style, cool or sleek. Skin color, we can change that to whatever we want. Head, so you can see we've got all these different customization options we can choose from to get our character looking the way we want. And I can continue to cycle through and choose a good hairstyle, facial hair, different elements including say clothing and uh, really get my character looking the way I want him to look. So even though you have a few characters to pick from, it's not just those characters. You can completely customize and create almost endless characters in this platform. I'll go save character. I've got a bit ahead of myself. You wanna click the save character button, but I'll click save character here. And now I can look at the different animations. So I've got the moonwalk, I've got Tarzan, he swings on in. Briefcase. Tango. As well as a bunch of other ones here, which I think are pretty cool. I'm going to stick with the moonwalk right now. The moonwalk's pretty cool. And there's a different waiting pose. So I can choose something different while they're waiting. Hurry up. Ending pose. When we're done, we can dance, very excited. We'll stick with very excited for now. I think that should be pretty good. So we've got our character designed, animations picked, and he's ready to go. Now we're gonna move on to the form itself. So we've picked a style. Let's go down to the content here. And you notice we've got a whole bunch of fields we can easily change. First of all, this is a lead magnet I'm gonna set up. So I'm gonna upload an ebook cover. But I, I can go to settings here, but I'm gonna to wanna to do is upload a cover. So I'm gonna go upload. I have this cover right here. I'm gonna open. And now I've got this book cover and I can also go to settings and change the crop. So I think it needs to be moved down a bit, apply. 
And now I have my cover that I designed for the actual lead magnet there as well. So that is pretty cool. But heading back, I'm gonna go back to step one for a second. And download our market trends report. That's obviously not what we wanna say. So I can actually just click on in here, highlight and say, download our free e-guide to get started. And then I can simply click through to the different areas of the form and type in what I want to put in there. And it's very easy to simply click, find what you want, type, and then move on. So now we have our content typed in the way we want. So now I can customize the appearance of the form with these options here on the left. So where it says heading here, I've got archive of black. I can choose a different font that I think might suit. I'm a big fan of Babas New if I use that, but it looks a bit small now. So I can change the size. At the moment, it's pretty big. So maybe we choose a more, a bolder font. Archivo Black again, we'll go back to Archivo Black. I can change basic text information here, whether I have it as title case or uppercase. I prefer just title case here, which I think is much better, or sentence case. I can always go in and add in a capital E. I'm gonna change the alignment and even the color of the text. Obviously, I wanna make that, I'm gonna go for white. Click OK. Now I, I can go through the options on the left here to find what I'm after, but an easier way also is to simply click on the elements that you want to change, and then you can access those options on the left to customize it further. And now following that same process, I can go through, click on the various areas and backgrounds and things like that, change the color, change the font. You see all the details here on the left is really quite simple and easy to follow. So now we just have the one form and the thank you. Now with the thank you, in the same basic format, we can make alterations to the design layout and simply go down the left or even click on it. We can go back and forth between pages by clicking on pages down the bottom and go from there. So now I've got my form laid out the way I like it and I want to actually connect it up. Keep in mind that I would spend a bit of time exploring these options when you're doing this for yourself. There's a few things here like privacy policy, if you can add that on there and marketing agreement if that all applies to what you were doing and also i might just make it full name instead of first and last name to make that form a little bit more streamlined but i'm pretty happy with that and i'm ready to publish go to connect and this is where i can choose where i want to go if i want to choose convert kit if i'm using convert kit i can connect there if i want to choose mailchimp i can connect with mailchimp this particular website, I do have a Mailchimp account that's there for testing. So I'm gonna go connect with Mailchimp. This dialog box will pop up, just hit continue. It wants me to authorize, so I'll enter my account details. Log in, click allow. I have two very small lists on this account. I'm gonna go for martial arts designer, get started, ebook. And we wanna map these fields, so the fields on the form actually equate to the actual fields in Mailchimp. So full name, we wanna change that to, we're just gonna put first name in there, last name, is last name, we go continue, and that's it, continue from there. Now we are linked up. We've created our form and we can go to publish. And say, are we ready to publish this? So I click publish. And what I can do is simply share a link and I can put that link anywhere on my website. But for now we wanna actually embed it. So I'm gonna to go to embed and I want it to be a pop-up. I can actually embed it between content. So simply add this in between some content or into a sidebar. So let's uh, pop get the pop-up in there. Just hide these settings. We can grab that embed code, copy that code, and then I head over to my website. So I'm in WordPress and I don't wanna to have to add this on every single page manually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to plugins, add new plugin, search for code snippets. You see here, code snippets, I install, I activate. I'm going to my snippets here and I'm going to create a new snippet under content add new, I'm gonna call this one VisMe pop-up. I'm going to paste that code into this area here. I've got content HTML selected. I'm going to click display at the end of the body section. And I'm going to activate. Now, when I tab across and refresh my homepage, I've reloaded my homepage and I start moving and straight away, the VisMe pop-up is visible and it's really eye grabbing and it's gonna be hard to miss. So if you're pushing something that you wanna really get people to download, this is a really great way to set that up. And now I can just simply type my name, email, and sign up. I can download my report here. Now that's the thing, this is actually a mistake. So once again, I can always tab back to VisMe. I'm gonna go back to create. And once it says thank you, I'm going to just simply change this to 
Keeping in mind that you will actually have to upload your PDF somewhere and create a link, but for now, if I click on this, I can actually add a link in here. I'm just gonna to put a hash in there for now, but you would want to actually upload this to your website and grab that URL and place it in here, save. Coming back in here, click on that logo. I can either upload a new one or I can simply turn it off. So you can go back to your form anytime and make changes after it's been published. But if you are logging out, logging back in later, it's also quite easy to find where this form is for further edits. So you log in and land on your dashboard. And under my projects, there's download market trends report. So it's got a funny name. I will rename it. I'm going to call it martial arts pop-up. And now I have a much better name for it. And I can click to edit this and go back in and change anything that I need to change. So that's a pretty cool little tool. But coming back to the publish section. Now, if you do use the pop-up, just remember with this little cog button here, you've got some settings. You can just simply say after the page is loaded or you can even just set a delay. So you've got some different options here as to what you want to choose for the, uh, you know, when the pop-up's actually going to appear. Also under advanced setting, you can choose whether it happens every visit, every session, or simply once every like so many days or weeks, if you don't want to sort of pester people too much with that form. But also I'm going to show you how you can add it between content. So again, I've got content here. I'm going to copy this code, head back to WordPress. I'm going to add it to this blog post. So I'm going to go up top here to edit post. Now I recommend probably putting this uh, maybe close to some really, really awesome material. But for the sake of video, I'm going to pop it between these two paragraphs near the top. I hit enter, hit my little plus symbol, type in HTML, put custom HTML, paste that code in. And if I preview it, you'll notice that it works just like that. Again, if I go to preview a new tab, you can see it appearing right in the middle of my content there very easily. But another great one if you're running a blog is to use the sidebar. I've got this sidebar section here. So what I'm gonna do is go back to VisMe, click on the sidebar option, copy the code, head back to WordPress. This time I come down to appearance and widgets. And you see I've got my sidebar here. All I need to do is add in another block. So I can come in, add it here, Again, I choose custom HTML, paste my code in there, and if I want to, I can even move it up to the very top of the sidebar by using these up and down arrows. I click update, I head back to my blog. Although I've actually just gone to my blog here and you can already see it's showing up here at the top. So Vizme have also done a case study on this and they've got some pretty interesting results. So their forms improve conversion rates by up to 207%. So there's two times more form submissions and conversions when using their forms as opposed to other forms. A 67% reduction in form abandonment, so less people are leaving the form and not filling it out and converted 100% to 210% more leads from organic traffic, like SEO and that kind of thing. Now the increased feedback and insights, so it says here visitors who completed the form were 30% to 100% more likely to perform an additional step or share feedback. So according to that, so adding Visme forms, interacted animated characters to their forms, increased lead conversion rates up to 40%, increased the form start rates up to 34%, and reduced the estimated cost of acquisition by 28%. So what that means is obviously you're converting more forms. It means that there's more people actually accessing those forms. And on top of that, the reduced cost means if you're actually paying so much per sign-up based on so your marketing budget, you're now going to save money per sign-up because you're increasing the amount of sign-ups you, you get, if that makes sense. So that is a pretty powerful set of statistics and it's really shown, you can see by, by their unique nature and how animated they are, they really do stand out and do a great job of grabbing attention and converting more. So if you're looking to add a form like this to your website, check out VisMe. There's a link in the description below. You can get started for free and it's a very powerful tool. And I want to thank VisMe for sponsoring this video. And if you liked the video, found it useful, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, hope to see you again next time and have a great day.